Okay. So all I wanted to ask you today is, how was your day? Good. It was good. What was your favorite thing you did at class today? Um, do the thing I was talking about in the bath. The song? No, the mixed colors with milk. Oh, with milk and food coloring? Yeah. No, show me, Dude, show me that song that you learned real quick again. Let's do it again. Those. Uh, this is going to be a brief talk today, but I had a little something on my chest I wanted to get off. As y'all saw in the video prior, um, that was my son and him and I have a really good, close relationship. We have a really good bond and that did not happen overnight. Um, I've been talking to my son since he was in the womb. And when I mean talking, I mean full on conversations. I was talking to him through my wife's belly as if he fully understood uh, what I was saying. And when that, when I was doing that, I was just getting him accustomed to my voice. Um, Cause the way I thought about it, when he came out of the womb, a lot of babies start crying and they're scared and everything. I said, I want my voice to be a comfort to him uh, when my wife gives birth. And that was really all I thought about, just getting him in the habit of hearing mom and dad talking so that that was a sound he was super comforted by uh, when he came into this world. Um, Miles is four, about to turn five, and a lot of kids, I mean, it, shoot, it could be anywhere from two to six to seven. Um, kids are growing at just different rates. There isn't a template, you know, you can go online and it could say, oh, by four, he should be reading this many words or he should know his colors or things like that. But the reality is I've seen kids um, from different parents um, all over, all over the spectrum of knowing a lot, knowing a little, communicating strongly, not communicating at all. And there really just isn't a blueprint for it. Kids learn through a lot of different circumstances. They go through a lot of health circumstances and their development um, varies quite a bit. There's so many factors. It's hard to really cookie cutter uh, someone telling you where your child should be. And even the indicators and things like that that you would see when you go see a, um, what would you say, Al's? Uh, not a, I was gonna say pediatrics, but a pediatrician, um, even though they might recommend and say, hey, well, this is where we expect the child to be. I've seen kids that seemingly are, are behind just suddenly have a massive growth spurt in a matter of a year and the, and the indicators are, were off, they got it wrong. So um, that's encouraging to parents. Um, it's easy to lose perspective, um, playing the comparison game. What, where's my kid at? Where's your kid at? The pressures of society. There's nothing worse than going to a party or a function and people are talking about their kids and you know your child is um, not where they're talking about where their child is at and just the just navigating what that feels like and in and, and it's a new experience right you're not prepared to know what your emotional state is going to be in those environments and in those conversations and it probably changes depending on depending on who you're around what your mood is how your child's development actually has been going but all that aside i want to just say that despite wherever your child may be or if you don't have children yet whatever the case may be, communication will bring a world of benefits to your child, uh, no matter what stage they're at, what the speed is. I was talking to Miles uh, when he was in uh, Allie's belly and the results sh uh, showed themselves immediately as far as just, when you talk to your child, it, again, this is not a, rub a rubric for how you should be with your child, but I always talk to my son as if he fully understands what I'm saying but I try to oversimplify everything until he reciprocates and then I build at that level. 
but I never talked to my child in a language different than English. We never did baby talk really. Um, that might have been something we did when he wasn't even speaking, you know what I mean? Just as trying to say words and stuff, but I always just spoke plain English to my son, um, ex you know, with the expectation of meeting him where he's at and building him up. Um, and we've always had a bond through that. No matter, no matter if he could speak back to me or not, I still spoke to him in English and we used shapes and we used colors and we used our hands and we used our eyes and our expression to connect. And so even though there were times when he didn't understand what I was saying, we were still able to bond because I'm speaking to him and he's speaking back to me. And it's not really about understanding at first. It's just about a, a, a love language, so to speak. I'm speaking to him and my tone and my expressions give him indicators on how he should feel in that moment. Comfort, peace, curiosity, adventure, things like that. And so we've always just been able to build off of that language together. And I've just seen a world of results from him. Um, not only has he been able to reciprocate over the years, but he has just been able to flourish. And I would just encourage you, whether your child understands you or not at first or is at whatever level, continue to speak to your child. Always ask your child questions. See at the heart level how they're feeling, how their mind is working, how their day is going, how they feel about you, um, different challenges they might be experiencing. Try to ask questions that give you an indicator of what's going on in your child's world, in his mind, and meet them in that place and be encouraging, uh, teach them, equip them. And as long as you're doing that, it doesn't matter what level it's at, you have a place to grow and be encouraged by. And I know for myself, um, being a parent can be super stressful and the pressures of the world and where people have their kids and things like that can overwhelm you sometimes. But for us, our faith is huge. Um, we do our best, we pray all the time, and no matter how hard we work, we always give it to the Lord and say, God, we, we wanna raise our child in a way that would bring you maximum glory um, because we know that when you're glorified, um, our son will reap the benefits of that. His parents will be God-fearing, um, good stewards, um, the relationships will be healthy, and our child will be in the best position to grow and to um, learn about the Lord. Um, and uh, be a blessing to others, be a blessing to his parents. Um, and so that communication is just so important, but at the end of the day, we, we chalk it up to God and, and, and ask him that he would move in our child's heart and in his circumstances. So I just wanna encourage you guys, doesn't matter what age your child is and what learning they're at, communicating and inquiring and asking questions and getting into the mind of your child and meeting them where they're at and giving them that next challenge, that next safe, slightly risky challenge of, of elevating and expanding their horizons and their thoughts and, and equipping them for this world that's ahead of them. Um, it, it, it's so important. It's so crucial. And you got to be intentional about it. It doesn't just happen. Um, it takes a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. And I promise you that at the end of the day, if you don't have anything else, you will have an incredible bond with your child, a love. They'll experience a comfort in just coming to you and speaking. And that works even in a, in a, a marriage setting. When you are talking to your spouse and there is a, something as simple as communication is a peaceful thing, it's a joyous thing, it's not a pressureful thing. Um, the safest place they can come to speak is with their spouse. That is an incredible feeling. It's a safe haven and so much development, so much stewarding, so much love can be shared and exchanged when the communication is great. The life might not always be as great, but if the communication is great, you can get there. You can be patient with one another. You can experience the grace of God, whether in good or bad times. And man, good communication and communication itself has been a pillar uh, in the relationship that I have here in the household with my family, uh, but also my friendships and other relationships outside. So if you have any questions about anything that I said, feel free to um, let me know how your experience with communication has been specifically with children. It doesn't have to be your children. It could be niece, nephew, um, kids you've spoken to. Um, you might relate to the parental side of things. I just wanna know what touched you while you watched this video. 
Um, let's dialogue about it. I will respond to every single comment. And uh, again, uh, we're just gonna be kind of sharing things between, I would say, the two biggest things on my mind that I wanna do as far as content on this channel is one, I wanna do story time about just different events in my life that I think are funny or cool or encouraging. Um, but then I also want to kind of do like um, thinking out loud, which is where I just have a concept or something I wanna roll with and hear your guys' opinions on and share my own. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what I can do to improve. Interact and engage, because I love um, not just hearing myself talk all day, but to see what you guys feel about things. And I hope you guys were super encouraged about the importance of communication. With that being said, catch you guys later. Me and Miles on the couch. Earlier you're eating all up in your mouth, go. Listen, that was all I needed. But hey, I just want to tell you, look at me. What? Look at me. I love you very much. I want you to listen and obey mom when you get into your bed because you need a lot of energy for tomorrow. It's the last day. Friday means what? Again, treasure box. Treasure box. And what are we doing on Saturday? Um, Monster, Monster trucks. trucks. Yeah. All right. Hey, I love you, man. Make sure you say your prayers, okay? Scared. You're uh, all, you ain't scared. You just don't want to go to bed. Hey, hey, hey. Miles, <laughs> look at me. Look at me. This is the time we listen and obey, okay? Give me my kiss. Mwah. Love you, man. I'll come check on you, okay? Dad, I know what 20 plus 8 I know you know what it means, but it's bedtime. Uh, I'll come check on you in a bit. Say bye. 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 <laughs> I say it before and I'll say it again.